we'll look at how to create rain and a simple ocean scene like this in blender okay so there's ocean there's a board which is moving and floating in the water and there is rain and the sky so in blender i will select this cube and then add ocean modifier and make this cube I'll name it ocean. This light I don't need, I will delete it. Okay. So the camera is going to be moved here and in the front. Okay. So we'll go to camera view, hit the N key, go to view, camera to view, and then we will place the camera so we can see the water. Okay. So when you Move the rain particle. Hit the tab key and go to wireframe mode. Select the top part and we're going to scale it in. Okay, and then we're going to add a loop and scale it in. Okay, modify panel, subdivision surface, and that is our rain particle. Uh, a to select all and then I will make it thin. Okay, so that is going to be the rain particle. Go to materials and add the ocean material to it. Okay, now this particle should be on the particle. So we will go to particles and then we go to render. Instead of hello, we will make it object will select the rain particle now this rain particle we don't want to set now we have rain particles falling down okay now this rain particle is not big enough so we will scale it big 0.1 We'll add the rotation, rotation object X and now the object is falling at an angle. Angular velocity global X okay so then rain particles are falling down and then if you go to render render image the rain particles are falling down which are these ones okay so if you go here to motion blur Make the step 10 and max blur 128. Render render image, and you can see the rain particles. You can increase the shutter speed to 1 and get longer rain particles. Okay, so we will further go to particles and increase the size, so say 0.2. I'll just rewind this and play it render render image and we have rain particles okay now we have to add depth of field so you go to camera add depth of field and then we need the target object so I have blender kit installed so you can go to edit preferences type kit and turn blender kit on and look for a board okay and then look for an unlocked board that you like a 
okay so this one okay so once you download that you get that boat here it's inside the water now we want the boat to follow the ocean so we're going to go to add mesh plane and we are going to scale the plan so it matches the boat approximately okay object apply scale right click tab right click subdivide and we will increase the subdivisions to say 5 or 8 big number okay now this object will have a shrink wrap modifier to the ocean okay and then we're going to use the project method and then go to tab and then go to data properties and add a vertex group and vertex group use group and then negative x so now the plane is going to follow the water now we will select the wooden can go to constraints and add copy location we are going to select the plane and vertex group is going to be group okay and then now the boat is going to follow now this plane we don't need it so we'll hide it okay now we need to rotate the boat okay so select this and go to rotation and add a keyframe doesn't matter where it is then we'll go to graph editor modifiers and add noise okay so if you it doesn't play when i am um, recording so if you move it is moving very fast so we need to reduce the strength of this to say 0.1 then we have done it for one axis so we have to do it to all the axis and the scale has to be increased too so let us increase the scale then when you drag it it is still too much so we can increase the scale to 30 and now the boat is not only going to go up and down but it is also going to rotate if you want more rotation you can add the strength but i think this looks okay, okay so we'll go to timeline and you can see that the boat is rotating and moving and then we have rain zero now depth of field will select this and we'll select the canoe and f stop will make it small okay and that's basically it so we have